So let's, uh, let's now transition a little bit to some of the core strategies. You mentioned several mm -hmm. lifestyle ones, so I'd like you to start with exercise. Fantastic. One of my favorite lifestyle strategies yeah. in general. So what's the impact of exercise? What kind of exercise should people do? How much should yep. they do? So as you know, exercise is phenomenal, mm -hmm. not just for osteoporosis and bone health, but right. there's so many other benefits to it. So what somebody should do depends on the person. This is individualized, mm -hmm. personalized medicine. Mm -hmm. And there are very simple things that people can do that are, that are low impact. They don't even have to leave their home to do. Mm -hmm. One is called the stork exercise. So can you sh demonstrate the stork exercise? Oh, yes. I'd be happy to. Okay. So this is one that people can do just in their, in their home while they're, while they're brushing their teeth. It's simple. You, just, you stand on one foot, mm -hmm. stand on one leg, and you, while you're brushing the bottom teeth, and dentists recommend uh, a minute for the bottom teeth, a minute for the top. And then when you switch, you just switch legs. And if a patient uh, needs to balance himself a little bit while they're, they're brushing, they can do that uh, so they don't, they don't mm -hmm. fall. And what this does is it increases a little bit of core strength, a little bit of leg strength, but it increases proprioception and balance. And as we know, the number one risk for, for fracture is, is falling. Right. So anything that we can do, simple exercises all the way up to more complex yoga, things like that, anything we can do to increase uh, proprioception and balance and decrease the risk for falling can decrease the risk for fractures. Great. So that's one that I love to talk to people about yeah. because it's entertaining to yeah, talk about great. it too. It's great. So they, they get engaged <laughs> in the conversation.